In the basement of an ordinary house, in an ordinary suburb of New York City, an ordinary spider beholds a somewhat out of the ordinary scene. At last, I, May Porker, unknown super genius, have created the world's first atomic-powered hairdryer. The introduction of nuclear fissions into America's beauty salons is going to revolutionize the hair care industry. May Porker sits down in her atomic-powered hairdryer to test out her invention. Zap! Yipes! That wild look in Mrs. Porker's eyes. She's glowing, and she's coming straight toward me, the ordinary spider thinks to himself. May Porker grabs the ordinary spider from his web and takes a bite. Chomp! Ouch! As the elderly lady scientist collapses, an incredible metamorphosis occurs in the meek arachnid. I'm... I'm growing. Changing. Into something else. Ah! I feel so strange. So dizzy. I've got to get some fresh air. Peter, reeling from the ordeal of his transformation, stumbles into the street. Look out! Shouts a duck driver in his car as he honks his horn. Peter jumps up onto the wall as the duck driver in the car zooms by. Great hog! I must have jumped 30 feet, and I'm climbing this wall like the spider I once was. In the days ahead, Peter is creating his web shooter and talks out loud to himself. Fate, in the guise of an old lady biting me on the head, has conferred upon me amazing powers. I shall use them to fight evil everywhere. I must have inherited Aunt May's scientific genius during my transformation. These web shooters were a snap to create, and more than compensate for my lost web spinning ability. And this outfit is just a little number to make my mark in the superhero's who's zoo. Look out world, here comes Spider-Ham. Thus was born the most incredible store ever to grace the annals of the paranormal crime buster Don. Hello everyone, and welcome to Whack, uh, fucking Whack Comics. I'm here today to talk about Peter Porker, the spectacular Spider-Ham. He first appeared in November 1983 in the one-shot humor comic book, Marvel Tales, starring Peter Parker, Spectacular Spider-Ham. When a nuclear-powered May Porker bites an ordinary spider, turning him into the Spectacular Spider-Ham. Today we're going to look at the 2019 five-issue miniseries Peter Porker of the Spectacular Spider-Ham. Written by Zeb Wells with art by Will Robson. Issue starts with a two-page recap of how an ordinary spider became Peter Porker, the Spectacular Spider-Ham. Just like how this video started. You think you know me? Huh. Not a chance. There's more to me that could fit into any one universe. There's a web of Spider-Verses out there, and I'm at the centre of it. I've been to a hundred dimensions, and I've rocked them all, and also saved them. Which is the important point, you see. I'm not just another spider. I'm Peter Porker, the spectacular- HEY PIG BOY! Who the peck are you talking to? Meet the scavengers of Earth 8311. Quicksilver, Ant-Ant, Third Dog of Thunder, Pigeon, Squawk Eye, Captain America, Cat, and Iron Mouse, all teaming up to fight Moltron. I gotta admit, all these animal pun names are fucking ridiculous, but I can't help but love them. Like, absolutely love them all. We spend the next few pages with the scavengers fighting Moltron as Spider-Ham talks their ear off. Spider-Ham, stop talking! Everyone else, electric rodeo! Cries Captain America, Cat. Squawk Eye shoots an arrow. You hear that, Quacksilver? Eleven steps ahead of you, Squawk Eye. Oddly specific number of steps. Zip your lips! Ant Ant shrinks down back to Ant size as Squawk Eye's arrow flies past. Quacksilver picks him up and plants him on the arrow. Giddy up, Ant Ant, you're on! Spider Ham watches on in disbelief. Pretty cartoon physics, even for me! Oh, do shut up, mumbles Pigeon. Ant Ant riding Squawk Eye's arrow transforms into giant ant, enlarging Squawk Eye's arrow in the process. Yee haw! he screams. Impossible, cries Moltron. That's what I'm saying. Why is he still talking? Yells giant ant flying towards the army of Ultrons on Squawk Eye's now giant arrow. He jumps off as the arrow explodes, destroying the army of Ultrons. The scavengers assemble to celebrate. Verily, we have done it. New York City is saved. Meh. What? The scavengers turn around at Peter Porker in disbelief. Peter Porker explains. Ever since I fought a thousand Electros with my spider friends, again, to save the multiverse, defending the city just doesn't do it for me. But I'm sure this is pretty exciting for you. In this point in Spider-Ham's life, he has literally helped save the multiverse on more than one occasion. 
Firstly, in the 2015 epic Spider-Verse comic book crossover event. Secondly, in the cancelled before its time Wed Warriors that Devin pens in his editor's note. I couldn't agree more. I fucking loved this series. It was truly amazing. It wrapped up in 2016 after only 11 issues being published. Then last but not least, the 2018 sequel to Spider-Verse, Spider-Geddon. But Peter Porker might have got more than he bargained for, with Seb Wells making the spectacular Spider-Ham come face to face with Kangaroo and the many Kangs of the multiverse in this five issue miniseries. This series is that good that after buying all five of the single issues, I went and double dipped and bought the trade paperback. So when I want to reread it, I can just pull out the trade paperback instead of pulling out all five single issues and just take it around with me easier, you know? It's that good. Give it a read for yourself. Thanks for watching.